like to start off with is the eyes. Today I'm using the Tartlet and Bloom palette by Tarte and I'm going to be using three different shades. The first shade I'm starting off with is Jet Setter and this is going to be my overall base shade. I like to use a fluffy brush and use windshield wiper motions as well as have a lighter grip on the brush itself so that I have more flexibility. Now I'm going in with the shade Rubble to give my eyes a little bit more dimension. I like to use this shade by focusing it on the outer corners of my eyes and then bringing it in to blend with the rest of the base shade. Lastly, I'm using the shade Rocker to add some shimmer to my eyes and I like to apply it directly with my fingertips. Next up, I like to go in with concealer and today I'm using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade 03.5. I like to go in with concealer right after eyeshadow so that I could clean up the edges of my eyes a little bit as well as brighten my under eyes around the mouth and the forehead. When it comes to foundation, I like to apply as little as possible, so that's another reason why I like to apply concealer before. Now that the base of my face is done, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade In The Sun. I love this bronzer. I think it gives a super natural bronzed look and it's also very easily blendable. When I'm done bronzing my cheekbones, I like to use whatever product is left on the brush to bronze my jawline and my forehead and temples. I also saw this hack from Nikki Tutorials on how to contour your nose and that is why I am bronzing my nose now. After bronzing my entire nose, I go in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the translucent shade. And basically what I do to complete the nose contour hack is use the translucent powder and stamp it onto the outer edges of my nose so that it creates the illusion of a more defined bridge. I also like to bring some of the powder out onto my under eyes and then apply the rest of what's left all over my face. I also sometimes like to use the translucent powder to create a more defined edge on my bronzer. This helps create the illusion of a more sculpted cheekbone. Lastly, I go in with a big powder brush and wipe off all the excess translucent powder that's still sitting on my face. Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade Berry Amour. I like to apply the blush by patting it onto the middle of my cheeks and then bringing it out towards the bronzer and blending it in. I also like applying blush on my nose and connecting the product to my cheeks. Next, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara to prime both my brows and my lashes. For the brows, I like to brush them up and away. And once they're brushed out, I use the brush to slick out the edge. Before I move on to priming my lashes, I like to curl them first. And 
using the lash side of the product, I prime my lashes. To finish up the eyes, I go in with two different mascaras, the Maybelline Lash Sensational and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I like to go in with the Lash Sensational Mascara first because the bristles are thinner and are easier to work with when applying it onto the lash. Then I go in with the Lash Paradise to give my lashes more volume. lip liner in the shade Bare. I think the secret to applying lip liner is finding your perfect lip shade because it makes it so much easier and less intimidating to apply it on. Also, if you're ever going to overline your lips, only overline the top portion where the cupid's bow is and the bottom middle portion of your lips so that it doesn't look super obvious. I then like to go in with the ColourPop Lip Crayon in the shade Z Boys. The formula is super creamy and lightweight. It almost feels like chapstick, but it also gives a really good tint to the lips. After I apply it, I like to pat it out with my fingertips to blend it with the lip liner. I'm also going ahead and using a Q-tip to wipe away any leftover mascara on my lids from before. And lastly, I am going in with the Laka and Co. Be Lighter in the shade Teacher's Daughter. This was actually from one of my old roommate's Ipsy packages, but the shade didn't match her skin tone, so she gave it to me. I was in the market for a cream highlighter anyway, and I ended up liking it. I not only like to apply the highlighter on the high points of my cheekbones, but I also like to apply it on my nose and under my brows. Finally, I set my face and that completes my everyday neutral makeup routine.